What's going on, guys? It is your boy, Mr. Nolan's here. All right, no joke. I'm gonna do um, like three quick, three or four quick videos for a quick test review over data. So let me go ahead and share my screen. This first one is involving dot plots. All right, guys. What I recommend first is writing out each number in order from least to greatest. So for example, on the number zero, I have two dots. That means I have two zeros. I have a one. I have four twos. I have a three. I have a four. I have two fives, a six, an eight, and a nine. Now the first question says, what is the median? Well guys, once the numbers are in order from least to greatest, you cross one off the front, one off the back, one off the front, one off the back, until you get to the middle. Oh no, I got two numbers left. You have to add those two numbers and then divide by two. So two plus three is five. Five divided by two is 2.5. Now we're going to bracket in our numbers. So remember, we're gonna bracket in the first half of our data and then bracket in the second half of our data. Now guys, make sure in the brackets you have the same amount of numbers. So let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven over here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven over here. All right, now to find the first quartile, it is the middle of this first half of the data. So cross one off the front, one off the back, one off the front, one off the back, one off the front, one off the back. What am I left with? Two. That is your first quartile. Now it's third quartile. We're working with the back. So same thing. One off the front, one off the back, one off the front, one off the back, one off the front, one off the back. Five. Now guys, if it asks for the interquartile range, that is the same as the IQR. It's just Q3 minus Q1. So guys, five minus two is three. Next one is a cluster. Guys, a cluster is where all the data is pretty much like combined without any gaps. So in this case, notice how there's no gaps until you get to here. So the cluster would be between zero and six. Now, someone asked earlier, what about eight and nine? They're clustered together. A cluster, guys, means you have to have at least three consecutive numbers with information on it. For example, if you just had zero, one, and two, that could be a cluster. But if you only had those two numbers, zero and one, and then you had a gap, that's not a cluster. Okay. My gap, next one is gap. That's right here. It's at seven. It's between six and eight. So you write between six and eight. Next one is peak, like the top of the mountain. Guys, another word for peak is like your mode. Which number has the most dots on it? Two. Symmetry. So guys, if I take half my data, cut it in half, fold it over, does it look like I'm looking in a mirror here? No, there's no symmetry here. All right, guys, I hope this video helps. I'll talk to y'all soon. Bye, guys.